What's up guys, this dog here for Nostalgia Button. You can hear my voice is a bit croaky. It's early. It's 7.13 a.m. I am heading into the Melbourne Comic and Toy Fair that's happening in Reservoir today. This is March 10 of 2024. I am the sponsor or one of the sponsors of this fair. So thank you to Nian and all the guys there from uh, the Melbourne Comic and Toy Fair for having me on. I'm going to document the day as I always do here for Nostalgia Button. See all the vintage toys and modern toys and collectibles and trading cards and everything nostalgic and everything new. Whoa! Uh, so yeah, stick with me. All right. <laughs> made my way into Reservoir and got my booth set up. You could see I had lots of different things on offer, a lot of wrestling, a lot of retro toys, a lot of new toys. I had the Hell in a Cell set up with all my wrestlers. And this was a really good thing because a lot of people were attracted to the stall and actually ended up selling some of these Lucy's, which was great. So I think I'll do that moving forward, just have that set up so it looks really cool. Um, loads of old school VHS that I've picked up along the way that I wanted to on sell. Of course, it's not my stall without some Austin Powers figures. I actually sold a couple of those on the day, which was great. There's the past. Outs merch, some LJN, some Hasbros, a lot of Lucy's down there. Look at that, the Triple H, uh, Garfield, of course, and uh, got my little sign up happening. Got some Pass Outs merch there. And moving on now, I had those He Man and Skeletor t shirts and Millennium Falcon down there. I think one of those shirts sold throughout the day. Um, it was a good to see a little snapshot of what my stall looked like before it um, got a little bit smaller, which is what, you know, you hope to do as a seller is to move stuff on and then be able to, you know, move stuff in for your collection. Um, so there's my stall there. All right, we're here at Melbourne Comic and Toy Fair. I'm here with Brendan. He's a subscriber. Yes. He's a subscriber. Yeah. You're a yeah. partner. Yeah, me and my partner. We love the show. There you go. Thanks so much for the support, brother. What have you picked up today? Uh, just got a few AFL cards. Oh. Just, uh, yeah, collection, so, yeah. Nice. You're going to rip them open or are you going to... Uh, yeah, maybe wait for you know, you know. All right. All right. <laughs> I was going to say maybe open them now. You might get it. <laughs> can, can you get an autograph in those? You can. Oh, yeah, you can, yeah. See how we go. <laughs> oh man. Come on, open them up for the channel, oh. Brandon. Let's do it. Oh, there we it. go. That didn't take much convincing, <laughs> eh? We've got a live we'll card do, break we'll here. We'll do one pack. Let's see if we can pull that uh, Brendan for Volvo Auto <laughs> from the Crown Casino. He's got a baby boy. So, you know what? Congratulations. Thanks, Fev. Ryan O'Keefe. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Hey, he's ripping it open. Good luck, buddy. Right, How much did these cost? Like 12 bucks. Oh, 12 bucks if you can pull an auto. How good is that? I'm nervous. I know, here we go. What have we got? Uh, let's see. We have. Let's see, we got a Harry Sheezel. Okay. Connor McDonald. Yes. Isaac King. Oh, oh. What do we got here? Bit of an insert. Yeah, I don't know. What's that? Luminous. Luminous Dry insert, this. that looks pretty cool. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if we got any autos. No autos. But that insert is rad, dude. Yeah. There you go, Brendan. <laughs> it was Brendan, wasn't That's it? That's it, mate, yeah. Thanks for uh, the support on the channel. Shout out to my partner, Annie. <laughs> Good on you, Annie. We'll see you next time, Brendan. <laughs> see you, man. See ya. Cheers, man. All right, we're here with Simon at the Melbourne Collectors. I always get it wrong. Mel it used to be Melbourne Collectors Market. Well, I think they call the Melbourne Collectors Market like their smaller shows, and this is the big one, the Melbourne Comic and Toy Fair. I oh, know that's how I. That's, that's how, how it's I see interpreted. It. I don't know, but, but it is now. Nine, if you're watching this, that's how it. That's how it goes. I love it. I love it. <laughs> hey, there's Ricky boy. Look, buttons the, everywhere. The run-in from Ricky. <laughs> Oh, thanks for stopping by, man. Welcome, mate. It's um, it's a real hot one. You've probably mentioned it on your vlog as well. It's very hot today in Melbourne, but um, it hasn't stopped the punters. They have come out in their droves, which is great to see. So, um, by the time you see this video, yes, 
I'll be half grey. <laughs> <laughs> I might go to fortnightly. Who Sky. knows? He's already missing it. I really Get am. The I am getting the itch. I've been uploading a lot of shorts and um, that's been a lot of fun actually, just those those one minute videos. It's easy to make, it's quick and easy. Yeah. You can pump them out. Exactly. So, excellent. Good on you, Simon. Thanks, mate. See you at the next one. Good Look, it's only, it's only Jay Grinter mm -hmm. in the house. Yeah. Hey, what a blast from the past. See, back when I first started teaching, Josh was one of my first students. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now you're 30, right? Really? 32. 32! How old do you feel? So old, bro. <laughs> but I was just a kid when I started teaching. Yeah, yeah. I was only like 29 when I when I started out. Yeah, yeah. I'll just bleep that out so people don't know where I taught. <laughs> <laughs> and we only got Basti over here. Look at him, hey, with a an Undertaker shirt with the purple glove. Look at that. R.I.P. So show us the finds that you got today, man. So not a lot today. Not a lot today. Not a lot. Got this Dragon Ball. Bigger. Ooh, yeah, I know you're into the Dragon Ball vibe. A little bit, little bit. That's cool, that's cool. And then the other thing is, so I think, I think getting like, I've been collecting the whole, like, Pokemon cards again, but getting them, like, the graded ones. Oh, bro, and you're gonna take out another mortgage on your well, house? So now, I'm like, I grabbed a bad I grabbed two like packs of cards, yes. of, like the newer ones. I don't know what Pokemon is what. Yeah. Like, I don't know any of the new ones. No. So I got two packs of that. Obsidian Flame. Flame. Yep. And then there's a Paradox Rift. Paradox Rift. And then yep. like 151. 151. So I'll know the ones in this one. Yes. Right, just for fun, you know when you like. You well, why don't we grab my uh, my tripod and we'll do a live card break right now? Maybe one of them. Maybe one of them. Let's do one. You're the card guy, so. All right, we're gonna rip open a pack of Pokemon One Five One, and this this was really really sought after about three four months ago, maybe six months ago, yeah. when they first dropped because someone was they were chasing a, a very specific card from this set. So, I don't even know what card that is. Like, you know more about this than me. If so. it looks shiny, you'd assume it's yeah. worth a bit of coin. Or if it's a Charizard. Charizard, we know that. We know that. All those Pokemon <laughs> people on, online are probably thinking, how could you not know? They're going to laugh at us. They're going to laugh. All right. Here we go. <laughs> All right, we have uh, a Pokemon card right there. <laughs> We've got another one. Now. Look at that. We've got another card. Oh, that's interesting. Give me the hollow. Come on, we need some kind of magic. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, what's oh, this no. one? No. Oh, no. You, I know you get at least one hollow in each pack. No, I don't so. Think so. I don't think it's guaranteed, right? No, I'm pretty sure you get no. something. A little bit of an, a vibe here. Oh, oh dude. Up. It is a shiny girl. We got a shiny girl. We got a shiny girl, dude. Okay, I think that is a hit right there. Possibly, if to anyone knows what Pokemon someone is. and <laughs> another shiny one. Oh, what is that? Dude. Oh, okay, that's that's got to be good, right? That's got to be gotta good. That's got to be good. Two hits and then some right, energy. The sleeve. What are we doing? Yeah, where yeah. are the sleeves? We need to sleeve these sleeve? up. I'm going to sleeve that up. Wow. I think, did we just do it? I think we did it, man. Congratulations, Basti. I'll, I'll, I'll find these on eBay and I'll put the yeah, right. sold listings so you can see how much you're in um, you in the money. It's better than sports, man. <laughs> <laughs> and more fun too, right? <laughs> Hell yeah. Thanks for being on the channel, right. dude. See you next time. Oh yeah. All right, after a quick eBay search, we realized that Eric's invitation is about a $60 card. That is a hit. That is a massive hit. So we grabbed a couple of one touches. Bam. There it is, Eric's invitation, 60 bucks all day long. And then the big hit, six bucks. Six bucks! <laughs> we can't believe it. Is it weird that I'm more stoked with this one than that one? <laughs> we opened up one pack, dude, and you hit the card. We did it. So congratulations, man. It was a team effort and it took every player on the team. That's to what get the it job was. Done today. We got it happening. Congratulations again, thank brother. You, thank you. See you next time. So at this point of the day, I had had a chance to catch up with a lot of friends that were coming over to say good day at the booth. And then I thought, you know what, I'm going to stand up on my chair and try to get 
a, uh, a wide shot of the entire space. And this is only um, uh, Basketball Stadium 1. There was another whole Basketball Stadium next door, um, which was full of sellers as well. There we have Angel Grove Collectibles, my man Phil right there. There he is. Throw your hands up, brother. He looked after me on the day with some Batman figures of all things. And um, there were some really great sellers there as well. Old mate right there, he also hooked me up with a couple of figures as well. So it was such a fun day. And uh, just finishing off with that Elias figure. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm here with the toy legend, Ricky. And he's just picked up, it looks like a vintage yes, Jabba is. the Hutt playset with the mm -hmm. trapdoor mechanism underneath it. And then look at it that. Is. Salacious crumb. All silver. Wow. And his little baubles with his frogs yes. that he eats. Is this a is this a 70s release or is this Yes, no no no, that is the original. This is the original? Yes. Oh my god. Incredible. What a piece, Ricky. Amazing. I fight a little bit, but I get a little bit discount and I tell you. Nice, <laughs> nice work, Ricky. That's the find of the day. Hell yeah. I'll see you in my band. Yeah, see you there. <laughs> What's up everybody, Sizzdog here for Nostalgia Button, here to tell you about our brand new sponsor, Angel Grove Collectibles. We've got a discount code for all our loyal subscribers. It's Button10. Throw that into angelgrovecollectibles.com and you can save 10% off store-wide. They've got new school Power Rangers. They've got old school Power Rangers. They've got Marvel Legends, Star Wars Black Series, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and so much more. Button 10, angelgrovecollectibles.com. Throw in the code and save some cash. Thanks, buttoners. Oh, yeah. So Phil from Angel Grove Collectibles was gracious enough to look over at my stall from his stall at this moment. So I was able to have a little bit of a hunt around and look at all of the other sellers on the day. These are fantastic. Um, I mean, they're almost vintage now, Lightning Collection Power Rangers figures there. And I'm about to place my hand on this Batman figure that I did pick up from Phil on the day. So look forward to busting that open for the channel and building Mr. Freeze. Um, I kept looking around the stalls here at the fair on the day and there was so much treasure, a little bluey figure there popping out from the corner. <laughs> Looks like we've got a Skylanders gimmick right there, bunch of games, lots of other different figures. Um, and it was just so much fun to take it all in. Pokemon cards and uh, pop vinyls. Looks like a lot of anime at this stall as well. Some vintage Star Wars. And now this place had so much Transformers. But these ones here certainly caught my eye. The Back to the Future Transformers figures. So, so cool. Um, Starscream there, of course. And he had randomly had these Macca's Transformers, which makes sense. Transformers, McDonald's, the seller had it all. Looks like he had uh, Slimer there and that um, Ghost from Afterlife as well right next to probably a transforming Ecto-1, you would have to say. Um, but yeah, so much treasure. These guys had these Lego figures. These guys had these Lego helmets and play sets. This awesome, awesome setup of Vader and Luke and the Emperor on the second Death Star in the Emperor's throne room with all the LED lights, which really bring it together. The Ecto-1 there, of course, all lit up like a Christmas tree with these lights. Really, really popped. I really, really dug that whole setup that those guys had. And obviously he was actually selling the lights there as well. So you could do that to your own Lego if you so wished. That awesome castle or, um, you know, dollhouse style playset right there. An arcade game of Pac-Man with all the LEDs lit up as well. Thanos's um, power glove and obviously a castle. Now this piece, proof that Tony Stark has a heart. I've wanted this for ages. The seller wanted 250 bucks for it and I know I can get it for 200 online so I think I might just um, get it one day but I really enjoyed seeing it in the flesh. This seller also had a lot of great figures as well. Pop vinyls as you can see. Some random wrestling figures there. Becky Lynch. I think that's her rookie figure. A random Stephanie McMahon figure there where she came out with Triple H at Wrestlemania. Uh, some Star Wars cards as well at this seller's booth. Obviously, you're going to see loads of pop vinyls at every one of these um, toy conventions. 
We've got a Power Rangers figure there. We had um, another Power Rangers figure, some wrestling, which caught my eye. Some more of these transforming McDonald's toys. How good is these, though? These Simpsons figures are so sick. My favorite, though, was this one of Homer at his graduation. Um, so many cool figures at that stand. Whipping through now, we have these two vintage um, Lion King fizz figures, uh, Mufasa and Scar there as well. And uh, moving on here, these guys had a lot of brand new Masters of the Universe on card, which you just don't see very often. Um, awesome Time Machine, DeLoreans from all three films there as well. I love that one with all of the frosting on it, like when he's come back from the future and it's all cold. Um, lots of toys here. Obviously can't go past the classic Boba Fett there. Um, looking forward here, my eye immediately was attracted to that Astro Boy figure, but he also had a very cool Buffy um, Spike figure there as well, a Dick Tracy, loads of pop vinyls as well at this stall. And look, it's Chancellor Vol Valorum. Can you go past Chancellor Valorum? You can't. He's like a magnet. And there's my man, Bib Fortuna. Look at him. What a legend. Love a bit of Bib Fortuna. A lot of Lucy's and this current or more of a modern Garfield. Uh, we have this awesome spaceship here from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Finishing up here with this round. We've got some Lego stuff um, from Batman there. Um, this awesome figure as well. A great Thor statue, which was on offer at this store. And also there's Sauron there from Lord of the Rings or Saruman. No, that was Sauron. Um, and loads of Lord of the Rings figures there as well. Really highly detailed, these figures, which is super, super cool to see. Um, and there, of course, you've got Indiana Jones with his whip and a Star-Lord, which is so cool. The likeness on that was super, super cool. Uh, a great battleship there, it looks like. And also he had these kind of mini um, play sets as well, these Batmobiles um, and some other random figures to finish off this um, seller's stall. I actually picked up those two. Um, ladies there finishing on the TIE Fighter. What's up everybody, Sizzdog here for Nostalgia Button. I'm here at Trippy Trades. Nostalgia Button and Trippy Trades are joined forces once more for 2024. They are the sponsor of the channel. If you throw in button 15 into trippytrades.com, you can save 15% off store wide. That code will work in store and online. Come down to 265 Spring Street here in Reservoir and you can check out their brand new location. They've got everything from PS1 to PS2. They've got Xboxes, they've got collectibles, they have pop vinyls, they've got everything you can imagine. Come down to Trippy Trades and save yourself 15% off with the code BUTTON15, trippytrades.com. Get it in, buttoners, oh yeah. All right, we've made it to the end of the vlog. As you can see, everyone's still packing up behind me, but I can't finish the Melbourne, Melbourne comic and Toy Fair without a little bit of a card rip. So I've got two WWE Select 2023, I believe, blasters and an AEW blaster. So let's do it, buttoners. Let's rip open some packs. I tried to rope in some friends to come and join me, but everyone's too hot. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do it myself. So let's go. Let's get some autos. Let's do it. All right, there they are. You get six packs per box, four cards per pack. Let's see what we can get. All right, we have Becky Lynch. I can see it in the camera, perfect. Becky, Gunther, Seth Rollins, and Mr. Perfect on the orange flash. Get in. Let's see who is next. We have oh, Alexa Bliss. That looks nice. I don't have that one. Bailey, old mate, and Truth. Look at him. <laughs> All right. Let's go, buttoners. Oh, we got something. We've got Booker T, old mate, 
Tori Wilson and a flash prism of Randy Orton. That's a sensations. That's a sick card. Look at that. Another pack. Let's go, partners. What can we pull? We have Sonia Deville, old mate, Uso, and now an, another orange flash of Shelton Benjamin. Here we go. Two more packs to go in this rip. Come on, let's pull an auto. Come on, guys. Get excited. We've got old mate, another old mate, another one, and just a silver prism of the Miz. Final pack of this box. Ripping them open. Here we go. Katana Chance. Alba Fire. And just another silver prism. All right, the next box. Come on. Come on, we can do better than that. Let's get in here. Let's do it. So loud, everyone's, everyone's still packing up. Hope you can hear me, buttoners. Let's do it. Another rip. So hot, this is, they're just ripping open so easy. Phil, we've got the boogeyman. What have we hit over here, mate? We've got, I don't know, top dollar. He's yeah. not even in the promotion anymore. <laughs> we've got Randy and Yoko Zuna. Very good. Whoop I love it. Dude. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Let's keep going. Thanks for the run in, Phil. All right, here we go. We have. More base, 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 but the hit of this one, another Sensations, this time of Triple H. That's a sick card. Let's rip through the base and just get to the hit. More base, base, but then we have, oh, there we go. John Cena on the orange flash. What do you think of that? Let's keep ripping packs and making stacks. Here we go, we've got Champa, Tribal Chief, and just a silver. Two more packs. Come on, where's the auto? Where is the auto? Where's a numbered card? Give me. Oh, a numbered card! Here we go. We've He's got. Called it. I've got it. I did call that. We've got a numbered card. It is a high series of Ronda Rousey. It is 48 of 49. Very nice card there. Very cool. Last pack. We hit a numbered card. That's not bad. That's not bad. Last pack. More base. Heaps of base. And then an orange flash of Mark Coffee. All right. Now let's open up our last box. The metal universe of AEW. I haven't opened up any of these metal universe ones. The last blaster box I had of this was just the, um, the regular. So... Let's get an auto or a numbered card or a PMG. All right, here we go. Let's do it, Buttoners. How do we even get into this thing? Oh, it's on the side. Here we go. It's on the side. Only five packs per box on this one. So let's see what we can pull. Metal Universe. Here we go. Pack number one. I love these cards. These are so, so cool. All right, we've got Swerve. Give him the title already. He deserves it. We've got Swerve, Chris Statlander, Chris Jericho. We've got JR on the blue. And we have, oh, wow, a Palladium Orange Cassidy. That is sick. Very, very cool card. We have Athena and we have Buddy Matthews. That's a really good pull. I'm happy with that. Let's see what else we can pull here, guys. Oh. Sweating. It's so hot in here. All right. Daddy Magic. We've got Adam Page. Oh, we have a Bonzo Gonzo of Jade Cargill. That's a sick pull. Love that one. Uh, Kenny Omega in the blue. Penelope Ford. Cash Wheeler and Tony Giovanni. All right. Let's keep going, guys. Seven minutes in. Here we go. See if we can pull something better than that. All right, we have Sean, Sammy Guevara, Technicians on the Dax Harwood. Blue, Samoa Joe, 
couple more base cards, and then that base MJF to finish. Two more packs to go, guys. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do this. All right, we have Julia Hart, Hook, 10. Oh, here we go. Why is there two? Is that a something special maybe? No, they've just given me two blues for some reason. Back to back. Very strange. I've never seen that. Two blues back to back. And then just more base there at the end. Okay, last pack magic. If you like this video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on so you never miss a video. Here we go. Last pack. Let's see some autos in here. Come on, come on, let's go. We've got Excalibur, Ruby, Miro on the blue, on the blue. Okay, there is a retro of Cash Wheeler. Oh, here we go, we did it. A purple Kip Sabian. That is a numbered out of, what is that numbered to? Numbered to 199, purple Kip. Hell yeah. Finishing off with Serena Deeb and Billy Gunn. We did it, Buttoners. Let's quickly look at the hits. That purple number to 199, Kip Sabian. We've got the retro uh, Cash Wheeler. We hit that Palladium of Orange Cassidy. That's definitely the hit of the box. And that numbered uh, Ronda Rousey. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you next time. All right. What you got this week? Did you get some toys instead of the groceries? I wanted this since I was a kid. Now I live in a box, but at least I chase the dream. I gotta intercept that package. All my wife will leave me, and I'll end up on the street.